Hello, so I'm Philippe Emel from uh, Arawa, the founder of uh, Arawa. I want to talk to you to a new software a connector between Alfresco and LibreOffice Online. So, <coughs> first uh, we'll start with a use case. Uh, why did we, did, you, did we do that? And um, the problems uh, to solve difficulties or answers and uh, with a focus on a feature uh, of LibreOffice Online uh, that uh, should be uh, better known, I think. Feedback and future steps. Before that, just a short introduction of uh, who we are. Uh, Arawa is a um, French company, an IT company specialized in uh, open source collaboration software, uh, focusing on people, um, security, and sharing. Some of the product uh, uh, we work on, uh, we are official partner of Collabora and Nextcloud, and uh, we offer also services around uh, LibreOffice uh, that you know, Nayego, maybe you don't know, it's a team chat software uh, based on XMPP, and uh, also Elastic to, to provide some analytics. So, the so use case. Uh, maybe you know Alfresco, it's a well-known uh, ECM product, Enterprise Content Management, uh, mainly used to, to manage uh, documents, oops, sorry, uh, metadata and lifecycle. Uh, in France, particularly uh, for public organizations, it's used to, as a public, uh, as a document collaboration and workflow tool, and uh, also it's used as a basis for uh, business-specific software, such as uh, electronic signature or administrative act management, and so on. <coughs> so. Um, one of our clients, uh, big uh, local governments near Paris, uh, 5,000 employees about, uh, had some problem with, uh, with Alpha, not really with Alpha, but uh, uh, with uh, some context. Um, because editing a document with Alfresco is a little bit, is a little complicated. So it's many steps. You have to check out, download, local editing, uploading again, and check in the documents. <clears throat> and sometimes it's even more complicated because before to do that, you have to call the person who checked out the documents uh, two months ago and ask him to uh, check in the documents so, so that it, it's unlocked. So it's a bit complicated. And often, uh, people prefer to use an old LibreOffice extension called Cesar Capillas, I don't know if you know it, not really maintained, uh, to directly edit the document with uh, LibreOffice using the WebDAV uh, compatibility of uh, Alfresco. This extension uh, do the checkout, WebDAV editing, and so, uh, and then uh, check in. The so problems uh, our client had is uh, he wants to develop teleworking, so he doesn't want to uh, have to deploy anything on the uh, home employee's PC. Uh, and so even with this extension as I, I was talking about, uh, only one person can edit a document at the same time. And also, it's preferable to, that the user remains in the context of the web application uh, and that it doesn't have to leave this web application to go into LibreOffice to edit the document. So, so that was uh, the customer needs. Online and collaborative editing of MS Office and ODF uh, documents. Everybody should be able to edit a document when he wants and nothing to install on the desktop. What we uh, propose, we offered a, an, an integration of Collabor Online into Alfresco. Actually, we propose to complete a prototype uh, uh, developed by a Danish company called Magenta. 
Uh, yeah. And uh, we analyzed what, to, what is to be done to, to finish a first version, yeah, and what's the cost. Uh, we didn't live alone, we had some partners to do that. And uh, first of all, uh, Collabora, obviously. Uh, we had a, a big help from them. Yeah, I'll come back later on that. And uh, Jesse, a small company, uh, AlphaSQL expert, at all CD, who put us in touch with the customer. So that was the team. The main task we identified uh, file locking management, how, what to do with the versions, uh, a better UI, uh, particularly uh, the integration of Collabora Online into Alfresco, some features to add, and some uh, bug to fix. The main difficulty is uh, how to prevent other users to uh, from deleting uh, a document uh, when a doc this document is currently edited by Collabora Online. Uh, do we need to use the file locking mechanism of Alfresco or not? Uh, that was the question. And also some other difficulties like uh, do we need to, to keep all the uh, saved version of, uh, uh, sent by uh, Collabora Online of the document? So, uh, regarding our answers, I'd like to focus on one of them. Uh, the main point was uh, the interesting monitoring capability of uh, LibreOffice Online, uh, allowing a connector to know when users enter and leave a current session. So. so we don't want to. We don't want that the connector check out files uh, because of difficulties to edit a checked out file uh, by different users uh, in Alfresco because of the access rights on this file. It was clearly quite impossible. So we we choose to remove some UI elements uh, when a file is edited in Collabora Online to prevent users from deleting, moving, uploading, and uh, even checking out a, a version, a file. How did we do? We developed a, a tool to monitor the Collabora online session base, based on a WebSocket connection uh, to Collabora online. So, when uh, an, editing, an editing session starts, uh, this tool sets a metadata on the file in Alfresco to indicate a current session. And when uh, this metadata is set, uh, an Alfresco plugin removes the UI choices that I was talking about. Uh, the architecture of our, of our clients. Um, so uh, the uh, software is composed of two Alfresco extensions called modules in Alfresco uh, and the LibreOffice Online Monitor. And so the two Alfresco modules manage uh, WAPI-like, because we have to say WAPI-like now, uh, connection with uh, Collabora Online. And the Loon monitor listen to Collabora Online and modify the documents using an Alfresco API to set metadata. It looks uh, very simple. Some technical details. We developed the Loon monitor using uh, the Python language uh, as a system de service. And the Alfresco modules are in Java, uh, like, uh, like Alfresco itself. And you can um, find all these components on uh, this address on GitHub. Uh, 
And obviously, if you want to participate, contribute, uh, look at that, use that, uh, feel free. Maybe now a quick demonstration. Not so big. So maybe I could uh, go to the beginning. So I am in Alfresco. I have to choose um, a site. Then go to the documents of this site. It's in French. I'm sorry. And then uh, I can see the files and choose to here uh, edit the document directly with Collabor Online. Yeah, I think you know Collabor Online or LibreOffice Online now. Here I am in a budget document. Uh, and now I, I am another user. I can go in the same oops, uh, folder, and I see that. Uh, I know that this document is currently edited by someone else. So here, we don't have the same uh, possibility. We cannot uh, delete the document and so on. If we go. Here, we have some details regarding the document, and that's the same. We don't have all the possibility now, but we can obviously enter the same uh, session to edit the document with an, the, the other guy. So I won't do the uh, demonstration of the uh, collaborative editing. You know that, I think. Yeah. Here we can see that we are two on the document. And now, so obviously, I can change something here. Um, and yeah, I can close the document here. I see that uh, there still is a current session. And that is here, as you can see, not really a bug, but uh, it seems like a bug um, because Sometimes the LibreOffice monitor uh, doesn't have enough time to uh, warn Alfresco to, to remove the metadata, and so it's, uh, it's like that. Sometimes it works, it's maybe uh, something we have to fix. So now nobody else are, in the, are editing, nobody uh, is editing the document, so we have here all the choices we had uh, at the beginning, and we can, uh, mm, 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 for example, check out the document or something like that. Okay. I think that's enough. Okay. Okay, um, regarding the LibreOffice Online monitoring, 
uh, it was a new feature at, at that time of Collabora Online. So we had a great collaboration from Collabora um, that, change, that made some changes uh, for our project, or maybe uh, thanks to our project. Uh, and we even man, made one patch on LibreOffice Online, only one little patch, but uh, we were very proud of that. Um, we had some feedback from the customer, um, many tests done by users. Um, well, I know there are still some bugs that they didn't find, but uh, that's okay, <laughs> because they didn't find it. Same. But we have some, some fix to do. Uh, and so far, uh, a deployment limited to 200 people, but that's the beginning. And uh, what we like to do, some, uh, uh, some new features uh, in this integration, display of the revision history and the severs implementation uh, as in Nextcloud. Uh, we could also use uh, Collabora Online to, to build the Alfresco previews uh, instead of using uh, LibreOffice integrated in uh, Alfresco, uh, and so on, many other ideas. So um, that's a beginning, and that's all. I am quite uh, many. <laughs>